So honestly, I'm just not willing to admit a low level in any aspect of life. It's expansion always in all ways. You do not have to completely fall off in any area of life. You can create a daily process, a program, a plan that causes you to excel very quickly in all fucking ways, all fucking areas, financially, physically, spiritually, all of it. Anything other than that is just that victim shit that something hold that there is something holding your fucking ass back other than your motherfucking self. You're the only thing holding you back. If you think one area has to falter for another one to succeed, your plan is just drastically not detailed enough. You're, you're lacking detail in an area that needs to be brought up. Imagine if you just quit willingly taking these back steps, these missteps. Imagine if you just never sold out your fucking goal, how quick you would surpass it. Well-arranged time is a sign of a well-arranged mind. You have a fucking plan, you have 24 hours, and if you see every step through, over time with long view, you fucking surpass your goals 20 fucking fold. You should be moving a lot quicker, a lot quicker. So as a motherfucking kid, as a fucking drug dealer, as someone who sought the party life, instant gratification was my driver. I was just going off that good feeling. Oh, this feels good, I enjoy it. But have you ever had massive goals, just crazy fucking goals and attain those? They feel pretty fucking good. It far supersedes that bitch ass instant gratification that always fails you. Don't get it fucked up. Love is a verb. Love for self, love for others, is defined by action. So the work is truly love being made visible. And they've said that if you don't learn to love the work, you may never know love at all. We must invest in ourselves. That's the only way we're going to feel correct. That's the only way we're going to build that self-respect, that self-worth, and that self-love every fucking day. I get so many messages about people trying to find themselves, find worth, and truly learn to love and respect themselves, but they're disrespecting themselves with their actions. Going and getting shit-faced hammered is disrespectful to yourself. Doing drugs, being angry, being negative is disrespectful to yourself. That's why you feel that way after. Respectful acts never are never regretted. We never regret acts of respect and love towards ourselves and others. The single greatest way to strengthen all of our relationships and learn a shitload about ourselves in the process is to walk in line with the language of the universe. The energy we put out is everything. This is what's going to determine every encounter we come across with individuals. It's simple. It's pure accountability. It's living... It's living in congruence with the fact that all love is self-love and all hate is self-hate. When we walk in line with this, when we live in congruence with our conscience and we're accountable for our actions, we can change everything. I watch myself do it consistently. I did it like twice yesterday to my chick where I had some bitch ass fucking energy for about two minutes and I checked that shit real quick. So it's truly all on you, regardless of the motherfucking situation. You can choose to react with love. You can choose to not give hate to the other individual. And more than likely, if you've been conducting yourself with the high level of self-love all day, you won't even be able to give hate. I notice with myself, the second my self-investment process fails me, or I fail it, I mean, when I, when I miss a step, when I don't give my all, I notice that the hate creeps in and I start to give it to other people. I start to react to pussy ass shit that normally has no effect on me. So let me show you a quick flaw. Everybody says family first. No, no. Character, principles, adherence to vision first. And then your family is taken care of much greater. Why? Do you really want to pass on? That monotonous, fucking tedious lifestyle that you live, just trying to pay bills and just trying to support the family, trust me, it's honorable. It's honorable as fuck. But is that what you want to pass on? Is that the life you wish for them? No, it's not. Check this fucking shit out. When you put your whole heart into everything you do, 
There's so fucking little competition. Everybody's looking for a way out. I'm looking for a way in. I don't need a day off. I don't want one. I don't want a vacation. I'm living my passion. I ain't fucking special. I ain't fucking special. I ain't nobody. I ain't shit. I just won't give up. I just won't quit. We're no different. I tell people all the time, you're going to surpass me because I know what it takes. All it takes is to never give the fuck up on what you want with your one motherfucking life. I don't need fucking motivation. I don't fucking need it. I told you something and I'm going to do it. What about just not wanting that regret of having to look your wife in the face after you said you had your big fucking mouth and you said, I'm really going to diet down and get a six pack and your bitch ass couldn't do it. What about that? What about just not wanting that regret of having to not look people in the face when you fucking quit that shit you were talking all big about? So I talk about the pen. I talk about life sentences. I talk about not wanting to do life. I talk about some of my homies doing life. But the fucking thing is, is we're all doing life. We just got to choose to fucking win. It's all perspective. What the fuck is winning to you? Winning to me is happiness. It's inner peace. Even when I react wrong to someone who's fucking out of line, it fucks up my inner peace. So it just tells me that it's my reaction. It's my reaction. It's my choice. You got to get the fuck up and answer the call of your motherfucking conscience. My conscience never tells me, hey, just sleep until 11 and have some fucking donuts. I'm not going to feel good after that. I got to grind. Men got to grind. We got to have that vision. We got to adhere to it. I'm just sharing what makes me feel like I'm winning. What makes me feel like I'm winning? Because it's all about how we feel. I had the shit. I've had the shit before. I drove up in that shit. I lived in that place. It didn't make me feel like I feel now. I feel proud. This is what works. I've been around all the fucking losers. I want to see you win. All I was around was losing for so long. I was just a number, forgotten. Living a painful life. Now I got to pass it on. I have to. I have a call from inside. It's just telling me, hey, hey, Wes. I know plenty of people are going to feel this. I know this, this worked for you. It's going to work for them. And it's hard work. It's sacrifice. It's loving the work. It's loving the sacrifice. You know those days you were tired and you still went? You didn't regret it when you were done because it fucking meant more. And everything's about what, what means something to you. So this is it. This is how you change those negative character traits that you may not even know you have. This is how you change all your relationships and the way you see yourself and your goals. When somebody fucking tells me their vision, when they tell me their goals, when they're halfway through explaining it, I'm like, yes, it'll work. It'll work. Let's do it. Because that's all it fucking takes. No matter what the fuck it is. I don't care what your plan is or your vision. If you put the work in, you will pull it off. If you never give up, it's fucking yours. The way we view the fucking world is a confession of character. And anyone who doesn't believe that you can make anything happen is telling you who they are. And if you're someone who doubts people when they tell you their dreams, well, you're saying who you are inside. Get rid of that shit. We subconsciously know how people feel about us. You guys know I know you can pull it off. You know it. It's that easy. You know how fucking easily... Even if someone's hating, even if someone doesn't believe in you, you can change their mind so easily by just simply zeroing in on their good qualities. Everybody has them. I don't care who it is. Everybody has good aspects about them. We must focus on those. If we treat people as they are, they will stay as they are. If we treat people as they should be, they will be as they should be. Motherfuckers tried to give up on me. They tried to lock me away. They tried to fucking treat me like a number, treat me like I wasn't shit, and I wouldn't fucking have it. I still saw the best in them. I still knew. I still understood because when I was younger and more foolish and less fucking mature, I was the same way. You, you want to know my favorite part? This is my favorite part of where it's, where it's evolved to. 
how unbiased and how savage my self-talk has become. Self-talk truly shapes your vision and it constructs a belief system that is unbreakable. So my self-talk is so unforgiving, so unbiased, that if I can't pull off something that I want in my heart, all I'm doing is sitting there going, you fucking fraud, you fake motherfucker, especially you, Wes. You look that way. You talk that way. You think that way. And you can't pull it off. You're the biggest bitch. Get the fuck to work. Let's break it down real simple. I'm going to break it down real simple. The two toughest choices you'll ever make. Make a positive choice today and stick to it again tomorrow. If you master that, it's all yours.